BJ Fogg claims that behavior happens when motivation, ability, and a trigger or prompt come into play at the same time. I set out to design for a specific behavior. To get people to connect to nature by playing an outdoor game I invented called Super Bounce. To design for this behavior, I used the Fogg behavior model. In this model, we have a horizontal axis for ability, which ranges from low or very hard to do to high ability or very easy to do and a vertical axis for motivation, which also ranges from low to high. There is a trade-off between motivation and ability. If somebody is highly motivated to do a behavior that is very easy for them to do, they will perform the behavior when triggered. And that's exactly what I did. I brought my game, Super Bounce, outside when people had free time and were already playing other similar games and trigger them by asking them to play with me, and people performed this behavior. Then I started varying ability and making it harder to perform this behavior by increasing the amount of time I asked people to play, having people move to a different location, or having people show up based on a calendar event. By decreasing ability, I was able to figure out where people lied in the motivation range. A lot of people did not want to keep playing for more than five minutes, did not want to move to a different location, or did not show up after being invited to a big event. However, there were a few that did. Finding the highly motivated people was super important to help me reach my initial behavior design goal, because it led to the question that affected impact. How can I tap into existing motivation to make the behavior sustainable? And that's how I came to my breakthrough idea, which was that I would build a team that would meet regularly to practice and create a sport. In summary, creating a team helped me achieve my behavior goal, which was to get people to connect with nature by playing super bounce outside, by having motivation, ability, and a trigger or prompt come into play at the same time. For motivation, I selected people who were already motivated. For ability, I organized a convenient time, location, and structure that would make it super easy for people to participate. And finally, I set the triggers, recurring meeting times and texts and reminders. If you'd like to learn more about Superbounce or our team, feel free to visit our team website, www.tinyurl.com slash superbounce.